Hey guys, it is Missy Beauty. I am coming to you from another recording device. So I'm not really sure how things look, but let's get on with the show. So my BoxyCharm box, I'm trying to get used to, <laughs> my BoxyCharm box actually came in the mail today for the June, um, you guys can see my hand, for the June uh, 2020 edition so if you're interested to see what I got in my box then keep on watching all right guys we are going to dig in here for those that don't know I do not have anything to open this up with for those that do not know, this is the standard subscription that I get. It is a monthly beauty box subscription and they have other subscriptions that have more product in it. Uh, full size products of course. BoxyCharm has always been full size products. The one I get is the standard box which is $25. There is a $50 box I believe. Um, and it's called Boxy Lux. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's called Boxy Lux. I just felt like I, I felt like I don't need it. <laughs> um, I know that a lot of influencers uh, like to compare the boxes, but with me getting Boxy Charm, the Allure, a Beauty Box, the Ipsy every other month, and now I get the influencer box that I just boxed the other day uh, or unboxed the other day I don't feel I need to get the boxy looks for sure this has good products in it usually it usually comes through for us so let's go ahead and see what's in the box for those of you that have never seen a boxy charm before you get this nice interior red that says boxy charm and it has hashtag boxy charm and at a boxy charm uh, what you receive is on top, you usually receive the um, brochure that tells you what you get in the box. And sometimes, well, I think BoxyCharm for the most part is pretty good about uh, listing the MSRP, so the retail prices, and they do. So this is this month's theme and it says the oasis and on the back you have the version number that i got which is version number 64 and you also have the listing of what's in here and what they retail at so with that said let's go ahead and get started i'm trying to make sure i am in frame or in focus because I'm coming to you from another device. My DSLR camera, my Canon is actually, the battery died and I didn't feel like waiting on it. So let's go. Oh. Now this stuff looks interesting. Of course, I think the first product I'm definitely not going to use. So I'm probably gonna put it in the giveaway. It's the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. And I am sure there is a young lady out there that wears lashes that would love these. Let's open them. And here's what you get. I do not want to touch the inside or touch the lashes, lashes, but this is what they look like. So let's go ahead and it has, it seems like a magnetic closure so let's go ahead and see what they say about these lashes. 100% silk lashes uh, created on a lightweight soft cotton band that leaves your eyes loving you. Uh, made with a light crisscross pattern and tapered ends for a natural glam look. For those of you that know what all that means in the world of lashes, then you know what that means. So they retail at $14.99. So these retail at $14.99 luxury lashes. And these will be going in a giveaway. I was gonna do a 200 subscriber giveaway, but you know what? It's taken me, how many years have I been on YouTube? You know, it's not a big deal for me. I'm having fun doing this, so let's keep going. Um, 
oops, I don't wanna drop my box. The next thing I am pulling out is a lip liner and it says cab on it. Cruelty free lip liner and lip gloss. Cab lip liner and lip gloss. Hmm, let's see what this looks like. Let's hope it's my shade. Sometimes it, these things are not my shade. So, okay, this is great. The pencil and the lip gloss. And the lip gloss and the pencil are not the same shade, so that's great. It appears that the lip liner is darker than the lip gloss. So let's go ahead and take the pin off or the top off the pin. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this because I think I am gonna get some use out of this. And I am going to actually, oh, and it's very smooth. Why did I draw an N? Actually, that N in Russian backwards is E, <laughs> for those of you that don't know. Not the letter E, but the sound E. So I like the way that this swatched. I really like the way that this swatched. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gloss. What does this say? I like the packaging on this gloss. It says gloss here. I've never heard of this brand. It's got a rather large doe foot applicator. And I'm not gonna swatch this because it's too, too glossy. So we're gonna try that on. I have, my lips are bare. I did not see any spoilers on this, but even if you see spoilers for BoxyCharm, your variation uh, will differ. So let's see, Cab Cosmetics Lip Duo. I do like what I felt so far of the lip liner uh, and what I saw of the lip gloss, the container and the doe foot, I like that. Let's see, Cab Cosmetics Charming Lip Duo has everything you need to create the glossy lip you've always wanted. This vanilla scented, mm, this vanilla scented duo is perfect for a night out on the town for a casual everyday look. Use the liner and the gloss together or each on their own and I can see doing that for sure. So this retails at $40. So far I like what I've seen but I'll try it on towards the end of um, unboxing everything. Let's see what's next. All right the next thing that is in here is clean and effective probiotic skincare from Tula Skincare. Now this doesn't even look full size. Tula usually has, um, okay, I know why. This is an eye balm. Glow and get it, cooling and brightening eye balm. I just had an eye balm from, I wanna say, is it, it was either my ELF or the AIA uh, unboxing, but this is their packaging for the eye balm. So I guess this is quite a large packaging for eye balm. I like that. Healthy looks good on you. Follow us at Tula. So let's see. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, this is an eye balm stick. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, um, this is the little cap, and this is your eye balm. It has a weird smell to it. It has a weird smell to it. I can't compare it to anything I've smelt. I can't say it's a beautiful smell, but it has a smell to it. So what are they saying about this Tula Eye Balm? What are we, what did we do? Oh, here we go. 
so let's see Tula skincare glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm this eye balm stick delivers a lift from within glow while instantly hydrating cooling and filling in fine lines around the eyes you'll feel awake with the eye balm and look refreshed and energized so you can glow and get it why, are, why do I look like I'm so close? So you can glow and get it. This retails at $28. $28. Um, you are getting, with this stick, 0.35 ounces, 10 grams, with this probiotic eye, um, glow and get it eye uh, balm. So, yeah. Let me get the box that I dropped. I like the packaging in this. You get quite a bit, I guess, for an eye balm. Um, all right. The next thing that I want to get out, the eye balm, again, um, $28. I don't know if I would say that's pricey or not, but let's go ahead and pull out Kylie Skin. Okay. Kylie Jenner. I have never owned a product from Kylie Jenner. I don't even think I've gotten anything in a beauty box from Kylie Jenner. This is the first, but this is a skincare product from Kylie Jenner. It is a foaming face wash. And I, I don't know. I've heard there was some skincare that uh, was controversial. And I'm not sure if it was this one or not, but I thought there was something going on with one of the items of her skincare, foaming face wash. And I am going to Google that because I don't want to put anything on my face that'll make me react in a bad way. Um, Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner Foaming Face Wash. Our luxurious foaming face wash is infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity, which I need. Um, the gentle formula cleanses skin by helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, brightening uh, complexion so let's go ahead this is quite a lot that you get in here I don't know if you guys can see my light it's it's all in the light it's all in the light I'm finding that out regardless of the um, apparatus you use to record it seems to be all in the light good light all right here it is You know, I'm wondering if I turn the light down, would it make it better? Would it? Let's see if you can see. So in this, it is looking like you get five fluid ounces and 149 ml. That's a lot of product. And this is a foaming face wash. So what are they saying about this face wash here? Um, da -da -da. Our luxurious, did I just read this? I did. So I want to see if it removes my makeup. That's what I want to see. I want to see if it does do makeup removal. Um, I can't do that here now because I'm going to need water. I'm guessing that you need water, of course. Yeah. Apply to wet skin and gently massage in circular motions. Rinse thoroughly. So there's our answer to that. Of course, I can't speak to... I'm turning up the light. Of course, I can't speak to, to it right now because I'll have to use it. So I will be using that for sure. The last item in my box is an eye lip cheek palette by Laura Geller. It's so tiny to be all of that, I would think. It seems a little small, but it looks like there's three things going on here. And it is the Laura Geller multitasking. You get a lot of multitasking makeup products these days. 
multitasking eye lip cheek palette. They realize the makeup companies realize that people are on the go and they need something that'll give them a good look fast. Cream to powder trio. All right, let's take a look and let's see. All right, I'm not sure. I, 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 I don't know what I could do with the middle shade. And I believe this is supposed to be contour or bronzer or something. Um, don't know if this, when it comes with a mirror. So let's go ahead and swatch these. Oh, it is cream. Uh, oh, as soon as you touch it, it, it melts. Uh, so, yeah. Not so sure if you can see the gold shade on me. So I believe it said cream to powder. So it feels really good going on. So let me show you the wrist that I swatched this on. Let's see how the swatches look. I can try to use these products for sure. So you can see, I don't know if it's your left or right, the gold color, which is probably gonna be a highlighter for me. The contour. And I'm going to pick this up again and see if this would be contour in the middle. Because I don't know about bronzer. And then the blush. The pinkest blush. So I'm not sure, guys, how that's going to look on my skin tone. Um, so we'll have to try this out. We will have to try this out. Let's go ahead and say, okay, so the gold color is called Gold Dust. The Coconut Grove color was the tannish. And the Tuscan Coral color was that pinkish blush shade. And what are they saying about this? Laura Geller Multitasking Cream to Powder Trio. Got all these um, sounds going on. The Three Well, the three well multi Multitasking Cream to Powder Face Palette includes two finishes, demi matte, and subtle shimmer. Um, each shade can be used on various parts of the face, including lips, eyes, and cheeks. The Silky Smooth uh, Transformation Tech, oh, I'm sorry, the Silky Smooth Transformative Texture goes on like a cream for at least blending and finishes like a powder for long lasting color payoff. Huh, $24. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to uh, put um, some powder on my face. I had a little bit, but I'm gonna put some powder on my face and I'm gonna get back to you with the um, lip color and the, of course I'm not gonna use the lashes like I said, but I'll do the lip color and the face palette. And we'll be back. Um, when, you, when I come back, I would have put the powder on already and you'll probably see me doing either the lip color or the contouring and the face stuff. So we'll see ya.
all right guys i am back um i am going to pop a little bit of this gold color on my eyelid um as a shadow and i'm sure you guys can see what that gold color did here but the blush is a little bit harder to see with this camera. So what I am gonna do, please stay tuned till after because I will be posting photos of the final product of what these uh, products look like on my face. Um, as far as the lip color, uh, the lip color, the gloss and the pencil, the pencil went on fine. This pencil could be put on and then a clear gloss put on and then it can melt down into clear gloss but i just think this pen gets overwhelmed once you put this rather thick and it's not too thick but gloss on so you really can't really see where the liner really is a little darkened or anything you can't really see that and because it was um took over by the gloss but let's go ahead and rub some of this gold color on my lid i already did i already got it on my under eye here but um i already had some eyeshadow on that was starting to wear off i like the color So yeah, this is pretty for the eyes. And it definitely goes on as a cream and dries like a powder, the look. I actually like the, um, the face products. I really do like the face products. The blush, however, I can try that on my eyes at some point, but I decided to try the gold. As far as the middle color, I could possibly use that as a concealer under powder because the fact of the matter is using it as a contour on my skin tone, it's just not gonna work that way. So that's, it is what it is with that. So guys, stay tuned to the end of the video because I will have photos taken with my other camera, uh, the actual photo camera. Well, it takes video too, but the Canon camera. And so you guys should be able to see more of what happened here and what uh, each of these colors did on my face. So yeah, let me go ahead and spray this Manica Dar uh, Hydrating Facial Mist. Just quickly spray that. Um, I, I, I always think finishing mist gives the final look uh, just something extra. So guys, that that is basically it. I got the uh, probiotic Atula skincare, the Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm, which I do have to try. Uh, I cannot give you my thoughts on that. I got the Lip Duo, which I like, but I think they'll work better separate or this will work better with a clear gloss that's not as thick. The Laura Geller uh, Multitasking Eye Lip Cheek Palette. Uh, this I do like and this will be something I use. I like the feel of cream. I've always liked cream products better uh, than powder. Uh, whenever I get my hands on something like this, I really do. I don't just buy it for the videos. I buy it for myself. So this is going to be something that I use on a continuous basis and uh, see how it lasts on my face. So products like these, you wonder since they go on as cream, how long they will last. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I like this. And of course, I told you guys that the Lash Aholic uh, eyelashes, I want to call them Lily lashes, they're not. Luxury lashes, they will be going in a giveaway. So all together, that's one, two, three, four. Um, 
So one, two, three, four, and I'm not sure what I'm forgetting unless they are counting the, what am I forgetting? One, two, three, four, five. What am I forgetting? So the foaming face wash, which I'll be using. So unfortunately, uh, those products, the uh, skincare products, I can't try those on right now. I will be trying those out on my own, on my own time. But guys, that does it for my box. I don't bother to add everything up because they're gonna make sure that this total um, is in between the range that they say the box is worth. So there's really no needing me getting a calendar. I see some people doing that and I actually started out doing that, but I quickly stopped because it's always, they're always gonna make sure it's within that range. There's no needing adding it up. Whether it's at the bottom of the range, middle or the top of the range that they say the box is worth, it's gonna add up to that. So guys, that is it. Uh, stay tuned for some photos and we will see you in the next one. I still have some interesting makeup um, orders on the way, or at least one order on the way, and we will see you then. Like and subscribe.